many numbers you need in the regular to get like stage rat nerdy nose? I'm doing well, Dr. Vancouver. How are you? In one line. Which I did not. Kathleen. Yeah. Kathleen just wanted me to remind you guys that all of our call ins and appearances and some of the um, auctions too. and some of the live auctions are actually <laughs> scheduled and you can find them by going to the desert bus main page clicking on the info tab and you'll see there's a site for call-ins and one for live auctions and guest appearances and things so check that out how many people are watching us right now i will tell you what would it be in 1 30 in the morning here 1492 wow, wow. that's amazing wow. the omnivan notes james that if you do donate a dollar it will be eaten yeah. by the bees that's and true the paypal <laughs> Damn yeah, you bees! You can now carve that yeah. into 30 seconds of MERS buzz. Sweet! Uh, Marshall, I, I, I sent you a tweet to tell you. It's 5 uh, five p.m. Monday. Marshall. Okay. Oh, that Marshall's going to start gyrating yeah. New York. Oh, oh no, no, wait, when are we auctioning his stuff? No, no, During, no, no he, he's asking me about the, the, the moto auction. The moto oh. auction is Monday at 5. Monday at 5. We still haven't actually, I don't, well, I haven't checked the mail today. It might have come today. Yeah. Marshall, wait, your yeah. alters are scheduled for, shh, your alters are scheduled for Tuesday at 6.30 p.m., but if they don't show up, they'll get moved. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um... So, uh, Kathleen had a challenge to caramel dance to 30 seconds of Merzbo, which is well, the rest which of is labeled in this, which is labeled here as experimental industrial noise. <laughs> <laughs> so it's playing. No, wait, hang on. It hasn't actually got to it yet. We uh, might be the music. Wait, oh, this is muted. Hang on. Oh god. Oh god, bring that down. <laughs> Please turn that down for the oh, man. feed. Like the feed. For this. Uh, it's almost off. Okay. Word. <laughs> it's also for us, please. This is music? Oh, no, it's <laughs> it's, no. no, it's noise. It's what people oh, run to hell. so they can get away that from the noise and run fast. It is a genre of music. It's experimenting. Oh, no, okay. it's not music. Wow. If that's music, then tripping is dancing. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Merzbo. Merzbo is a very eccentric Japanese guy who uh, decided that music was weird, and he wanted to see how weird he could make it. But my best friend Adam is actually a really big fan of industrial and drone music. And one day we were sitting, this is a few years ago back when if you had I like an iPod, story, by the way. and you would like, if you didn't, if you couldn't, <laughs> if you wanted to get your iPod to talk to your car stereo, and you didn't have a USB port because it was an older stereo, you would use like a radio tuner, and then you would tune to a frequency to listen to your iPod. Right. So, you know, he's like, I want you to listen to this Merzbo album, it's really good. And we sit there listening for three minutes <laughs> before Adam, Adam, who put on the album, realizes we are not listening to the new Merzbo album. We are listening to Blank Station Radio. <laughs> <laughs> that is Merzbo. <laughs> yes. Yay. Uh, wait a minute. This isn't the CD I wanted. You need that microphone. Oh, are you going to do the Transformers thing? Yes. I'm about to do something for you, so just give me a second oh, to test the here. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, just give me one second. Oh, myself. Voice it all started with the cube. The cube. Yeah. We know not where it comes from. <laughs> the matrix. The matrix. Of what? Of leadership. Oh. Wait, what are you doing there? It was all me. It's, it's a nice ass. What can I say? It was both of them. I'm a robot voice. I like your tire. Thank you. The cubes. I had a jump. We had it say, funny you should ask, I'm actually part of a choir that's performing this weekend and we're doing all sorts of Mozart stuff, so yes, by most accounts I sing quite well. Oh yeah, we're going to do something chorusy at some point. Ooh. Well, the there was. We need to talk. Oh, about my glasses. Yeah, you can do parts. <laughs> yeah, there absolutely. There. I know. There now was I can read the chat. There was some kind of proposal of singing Africa by Toto, which is like one of my favorite songs ever. Yeah. So yeah. I'm the cube on that thing. testing. Yeah. This is good. I have their Okay. All right. So I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sing this. Testing. And my loot! Wait! <laughs> Crap! I'm sorry if I'm yeah. too loud. They left me at home. 
I send this out to any Autobots who can hear me. Rising up, back on the street. Did my time, took my chances. Went the distance, now I'm back on my feet. Just an Autobot and his will to survive. So many times, it happens too fast. You change your passion for glory. Don't lose your grip on the dreams of the past. You must fight just to keep them alive. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the cream of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rivals, the Decepticons. And the last known survivor stalks his prey in the night. And he's watching us all in the eye of the tiger. Face to face, out in the heat. Hanging tough, staying hungry. They stack the odds till we take to the street. For we kill with the skill to survive. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the cream of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of Megatron. <laughs> and the last known survivor stalks his prey in the night. And he's watching us all with the eye of the tiger. Rising up straight to the top. Have the guts got the glory. Went the distance, now I'm not gonna stop. Just a man and his will to roll out. <laughs> it's the eye of the tiger, it's the cream of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of Megatron. And the last known survivor stalks his prey in the night. And he's watching us all in the eye of the tiger. And we will always be here to defend against the eye of the tiger. <laughs> Have a sudden urge to turn into a truck and have an amazing <laughs> battle in space. There was someone who right at the beginning, he's like, so, I'm guessing it was a she. Oh, Graham just made my ovaries explode out of my body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just, wow. I have nothing left to be here for. <laughs> they fired out like grape nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't know what grape nuts you eat. <laughs> Uh, the chat wants to know, Graham, if there are little peeper of people under that hat. What? No. What? 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 No. No. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, how long have I been wearing this for? Does anyone know? It's been a no. while. Because it's supposed well, to be an hour. It? They're gone. Well, we're thirty. It smell? We're thirty minutes Ooh. into the challenge, so yeah, I think you you can probably take it off. So. Oh, okay, it's been a while. sweet. Delivery. It's very warm in there. Thank you. In there. <laughs> In there? In where? I'm the expedited hat delivery service. Wow. Three hundred ten dollars. And what? Hour, and apparently. and as well as inclusion of your pony design on the official Desert Bus poster, what else is on? Is up for grabs with oh, this, this pony challenge. Incredible, well, stuff. incredible lot of stuff that Atlas was so generous to send us. Once Ooh. again, I'm and gonna... and they don't necessarily have to be an amazing artist themselves. We're looking for the design here, right? Yes. You're going to do a good design because Mike Lunsford is going to render this in his own talented hands onto the official Desert Bus poster. Um, so you will get a Junpei hat from Persona 3, which is a cool collectible, not readily available. The sexy Catherine pillowcase, a copy of Naruto Shippuden Naruto vs. Sasuke for DS, a uh, Neo Steam t-shirt size... You look an awful lot like Junpei with that hat, Jer. Thank you. Size <laughs> small. It's a small Neo Steam t shirt. Uh, your shirts are Naruto Shippuden Dragon Blade Chronicles for Wii. Knights of the Nightmare for DS. And a awesome Persona 4 t shirt size extra large. And, oh. the, and the Luminous Arc <laughs> business card holder. Otherwise known as a Persona 4 dress. Yeah. In the making. Yes. <laughs> I think it's funny how the, the shirt sizes in that pack are extra large, extra large, and small. <laughs> uh, people were asking us about opening challenges. We would love to open challenges, but we can we get we if we open challenges for a minute, we get about seventy five. Yeah. So we need to work through the ones we have, and then we'll open them again. Speaking so you're not waiting how, seven or eight hours. Your let's um, see what I can. Let's see what we can. It's actually her. pretty good. Somebody was asking about Defy Grat. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Um, oh, yeah, so maybe. Continue yeah. um, yeah. Can you get Alex? We can knock out the. Oh, that, that hasn't been donated. Yes, I can. Yeah. My Adina Menzel is later. here. Oh, yeah. Let's cross talk. Aaron, I'm going to mark the hat featured on Feed Dump as completed because I will do that when you ship me the hat. Right. 
Um, Arrow Commander brings up the excellent point that the silent auctions, we'll the first three, end in 23 minutes. Oh, let's see who won. Let's Ooh. see what they're up to. Well, let's see what they're up to. And yeah, nobody's won yet. Also, there should be some more silent auctions. Oh, yeah, there should be some more. I've already started. There's, so a, will, there's an iHeart Doctor iPad sleeve and a crocheted Dalek. A crocheted Dalek. Oh, so I'm going to tell you what. Yeah, yeah, iHeart the Doctor. That's yeah. gorgeous. It's made by our friend Manny, who lives in Calgary. Yeah. Where are the auctions at? The the auctions that are about oh, to complete, the big bag of dice is at $575. Wow. The crocheted prize pig is, sorry, that freaks me out every time the computer goes to sleep. The crocheted prize pig is at two, $219.44, and the Astro headset is at uh, $364. That's fantastic. The pig needs to go for more, I feel. Are you going to sweeten that pig? Uh, I don't really know how. I'll put a sugar packet in the pig. <laughs> oh! <laughs> if you buy the pig, if it goes for more than $400. So the ones that came up for auction a little while ago are this I Heart the Doctor iPad sleeve, the Sleeve 9. We discussed earlier the fact that if you don't own an iPad, this doubles as a Christmas stocking and it's really obvious to Santa what goes inside the doctor. Our friend Manny, who is awesome not only because she made this, but because she fed all of us in Calgary. They like brought us into their home and gave us beer and food. And, food. Awesome. Very loud. and then she made this. Oh my god, that's incredible. Less kazoo, please. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Donate! The, 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 donate! 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 So those are now up for silent auction. You can own them. <laughs> Less kazoo, more bazoo. Well. <laughs> I like it. If I knew how. If only I knew how. I've had my uh, heart broken by two bassoonists. Really? Yeah. Apparently, bassoonists are dicks. They are. Bassoonists, not kazooists. <laughs> yeah. Bassoonists. Like, yeah. Well, his instruments are UFOs. They kind of are. So yeah. uh, what is the blog? Okay, I lost that one. Uh, oh, God. My brothers. Actually, a bassoonist stole one of my girlfriends, so we're even. <laughs> Wheaton's second law, don't be a bassoonist. I can get behind that. <laughs> Two. Two of them. Oh, man. There. We are indeed at $24,100. Which is actually really good. Yeah, where do we like relate? Do we have the graph at all? I'm just curious. One second. Okay. Graham is emailing people. Yes. Someone just emailed me um, a script for... Uh, the Adventures of Steve Butts and Steve Dengler. They're cops. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and since Steve Butts is calling in tomorrow, while Steve yes. Dengler will be here, okay, yes. I'm going to send them both the script right now. Ah, so they can practice. Exactly. Oh, wow. They can read it together. What time is that going to be at? I don't know. That's gonna be what is, wonderful. Oh, actually, uh, I can tell you. Yes, oh. Steve Butts, I don't know. I can see. So which one's gonna be the rogue cop? <laughs> which one's the Steve loose Butt cannon? Steve Butts phones it at eight. Yeah. I so it'll be eight p. It'll be after eight p.m. Uh, Pacific. I'm gonna miss it. I will be singing things. Alas. 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 All right. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred seventy dollars next hour. Wow. Woohoo! Wow. Woo. That's good. I should be the cop. Uh, okay. A circuit fry. You send your pony contest drawing to the address at the bottom of your screen, which is contest at desertbus.org. Subject, Desert Bus Pony. Um, Wait, I would... Circuit fry? It failed the address. It's an email exist. address. Now I can't see that. Uh, well, it should exist. It should exist. Try contests. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It's an email address. Exactly. I think the script is already oh, written, guys. I can't be in it. You guys do glasses. I mean, it's worth so old school. Oh, yeah, it goes on. I'm going to do something else. Probably yeah. Kate, yeah. Mia, and Tally. Yeah. 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 We, we would love to dance together, and we will. But you don't need to necessarily draw to win this challenge because your pony will be. It, we're looking for the great idea and concept. Your pony is going to be rendered. There is a chief of police in this script. Oh, is there? Yes. Dope. 
Everybody wave at the camera. It's 1.47 in the morning. Yep. Um, yeah, they're all my monkeys. Yep. Well, yeah. we would love to do more dancing challenges for I mean, you. Once we work through the challenges we yeah. have, we'll reopen them. Oh my god, it is. Yeah.